hi everyone in today's video i want to explain in very simple terms as to what is the role of and need for a research hypothesis now uh, my students often come up to me and ask me for a simple explanation something that they cannot get out of the book so here it is uh, i want to explain it in very simple terms with very simple and easy to understand examples as to what is a hypothesis and uh, when do you need one and when do you not need one as well right so if you go into uh, the books you will find that they define hypothesis as a, a logical conjecture that means uh, it's a hunch but it's also an educated guess now what do you mean by an educated guess now an educated guess means that it is based on your research based on research or it is also based on the theoretical understanding of the concept all right so although it is a it is a guess but it is based on a theoretical understanding of the uh, concepts that you are exploring or that you are researching on now it the hypothesis will in its own statement will also try to define the nature of relationship between two or more variables two variables for sure we have the dependent variable and we have the independent variable and sometimes there could be two or more variables right there could be control variables extraneous variables so it tries to explain the relationship between them but the most important thing is that the statement is expressed in a way in a form of a testable statement that means that whatever you express you should be able to test it you should be able to measure it so that uh, not only you are stating a statement or rather you are making a statement but you are also saying that you know how to go about testing it whether your statement is going to be proved correct or not that is besides the question that is going to depend on the research findings but you should be able to test it all right so these are the three major components firstly it's an educated guess that means it's based on your theoretical understanding of concepts secondly it will explore the nature of relationship or rather it will state the nature of relationship between two or more variables and it should be testable so then of course your data will um, uh, confirm whether the relationship between the variables is as per your statement or not so the role of the hypothesis is to take your research question further a step further by offering a clear and concise right very straightforward statement of what you think you will find in relation between the variables what you are going to test and it is a tentative proposition that means that you are not sure yet not sure all right you are you are going to confirm after the testing and it is subject to verification after a subsequent investigation all right so you can have a hypothesis sometimes we also called a null hypothesis which is the opposite of the hypothesis right so we don't have to go into that we just talk about hypothesis and what it is otherwise it gets a bit complicated all right so let's take an example now let's say that the question your research question is is there a relationship between household recycling behaviors and demographic characteristics all right that is your research question so let's say your hunch here or your educated guess is that age has a has an impact a large impact on recycling behavior all right that is what you have found out after your studies or your research or your literature review so basically you suspect that young people will put anything in the recycle bin so hence you have all the factors you need for a hypothesis so you have the logical conjecture which is your hunch here right what are the variables let's see what are the variables here so your variables could be uh, recycling behaviors right this could be your one of the variables and verse and uh, age age could be your other variable all right so you can change the age and study the impact on the recycling behavior so one will become the dependent other one will become the independent variable and then you can you test the relationship so of course can it be tested that's the third requirement right so recycling behaviors depend on age of course you can test it so you can carry on a a, a survey or a questionnaire or simply find out the behaviors of how the recycling behaviors and again i'll write that here recycling behaviors depend on age 
right so for different age groups you can find out what are their recycling behaviors so therefore this becomes a perfect question for a hypothesis all right maybe something like children and teenagers are more likely than adults to put inappropriate materials in recycle bins something like that so i told you i am going to use a very simple and easy to understand uh, example now basically here you have a defined clearly defined research question you've got variables to explore and you have a hunch about the relationship between these variables that can be tested and then hypothesis is quite easy to formulate now you have to remember that what you need is a clearly defined research question right so for hypothesis for hypothesis to be formulated what do you need you need a clearly defined research question which will also give you the variables to explore all right and then of course you will have a hunch about the relationship between the variables that can be tested and then a hypothesis is formulated however you have to remember and this is the important part here all right remember this is the important part not all research questions can sometimes lead to a hypothesis development all right so sometimes you may not have a hypothesis development when is that let's take an example let's say your research question was how do individuals engage in decision making how do they engage in decision making processes related to household domestic waste management now here you can remember that a hypothesis is designed to express relationship between variables this question however does not aim to look at variables or the relationship between them this question uh, the goal of this question is to uncover let's say it is to uncover and describe a process so hypothesis here would not be appropriate you are trying to uncover or describe a process so let's where does this take us to so hypothesis will not be appropriate in the following circumstances so if you do not have a hunch or an educated guess your goal may be to build your goal is to maybe build uh, broad understanding all right in this case you don't need a hypothesis you do not have a set of defined variables so your goal might be to simply identify variables not define the relationship between them so in this case as well you do not need a hypothesis you will also not need a hypothesis if your research question is aiming to explore the experience of a phenomena all right phenomenological studies for example what is it like to start school with uh, say spanish as a second language all right so even then you don't need a hypothesis this is more about like a phenomenological study or your question centers on uh, developing rich understanding of a group this is ethnographic study all right so what it means to be a survivor of uh, cancer all right so this is again this is called ethnographic study where you are trying to understand a group behavior here you don't need a hypothesis as well and finally if your aim is to engage in or research the process of collaborative change so if that is the process so let's say you are trying to see how a change introduced in an organization is perceived by the uh, people working in that organization all right so the the workers in a factory have to wear hard hats uh, and they have to wear safety shoes Uh, something that they were not used to beforehand let's say so you want to see how they will go about accepting or uh, disregarding this change so in this case you will use something called action research uh, i have made a video separate video on action research so i don't want to go into that so you can see in these cases uh, you don't need a hypothesis so whether a hypothesis is appropriate for your question depends on the nature of your inquiry so hypothesis depends on nature of inquiry if your question boils down to a relationship between variables then a hypothesis can clarify your study to an extent even beyond a well defined research question if your question however does not explore such a relationship then don't try to force a hypothesis it won't work all right so this is a simple and short video on what is hypothesis or when do you need one or when do you not need one and i try to explain it to you guys very simply i hope uh, this was uh, uh, this gives you a bit of an understanding about what is hypothesis and when do you need one uh, let me know if i have missed something out like i say in all my videos the whole goal of my videos is to learn from one another uh, i i cannot know everything in the world but whatever little i know i like to share it with the fellow researchers out there who can then of course add to this video and we can learn from one another thank you for watching this video bye friends